Hello guys and welcome to Cracklin. We're going to experience the first taste of games, new and old, and see if they're good enough to have a stay for seconds. So the very first game I want to talk about today is Dark Souls 2. Um, I never have actually played Dark Souls, you the first one, or its predecessors. Everything. So this was kind of like completely new to me, and I was quite excited because I've heard a lot about it. I've got it on PC. I'm not a console gamer at all. I am PC gamer through and through. And at the time of making this, I also didn't have a, um, a control pad. So I was stuck using mouse and keyboard. And the the first Dark Souls doesn't exactly have a pedigree when it comes to the, the PC port. In fact, it was quite some time for it came out, and then when it did come out, it wasn't very good. So I was slightly anxious, but I got in there. And the first thing I want to say is the, the menu and everything works fine We're with the mouse. Um, that wasn't a problem. I found that some of the in-game menus were a little bit clunky. Um, the inventory system, for example, only half seemed to work with the mouse, so I was kind of half with the mouse, half with the keyboard. I can get over that, that's fine. A little bit of a pain in the ass. But then as I started playing the game, you know, things started cropping up. Like, for example, the use button was always enter. It wasn't E or F or anything within reach of my movement keys, which was very frustrating. But um, again, you don't really use it that often, and when you do, you're not exactly in combat. Although there was one time when I had to knock down a tree, and I tell you what, I had to, uh, absolute nightmare. <laughs> but again, I can kind of get over that, because there is much worse. And what I found was, uh, for example, it, it asked me to change the grip of my weapon to use my right-handed weapon with two hands instead of with one. And all the instructions in game were giving me uh, control pad options, not the keyboard options. You know, that's just not very good in my opinion. It should have defined keys for the, the keyboard as well as the controller. So I had to look in the options and it told me that to change the grip, I had to press control and middle mouse button. Which is very strange. Um, you know, it's not V or C or anything, um, which maybe you would have thought it could be. Um, but again, it's not really a button I was going to use often, so I kind of let it slide. I was like, right, okay, I know what it is now. I can use it. Um, and then I came to a gap, and it asked me to jump. And now apparently you can only run, you can only jump while running, which I didn't know at the time. I actually had to ask a friend. <laughs> and um, again, the keys were all in control keys, so I had to look on. Uh, the, the key bindings. So I was looking at the key bindings and apparently it's shift and middle mouse button. Now along with the run that means you have to press you have to hold down the space key press shift and then press the middle mouse button and that's fucking ridiculous like I don't know if the people that made this game have ever used the keyboard I mean unbelievable I have absolutely no idea what they're doing um, well, it may be the people that made this game had three hands. That could be what it is. I think I've sussed it. So to be honest with you, the game doesn't work well on keyboard. There's issues with it. Some of them I could let slide, but when, when you add them all together, it just becomes very, very frustrating. So yeah, that's like that's the, the controller, not great. Um, I would I would probably go out and buy a pad for it. I've heard it works very well with a pad. Obviously it was console orientated anyway. If you are thinking of playing it, that's probably my recommendation, although I haven't tried it yet and I will be doing it in the future. So the second thing that I'd like to talk about are the graphics. I understand that the first one wasn't very graphic orientated and that's fine, that's not a problem at all. But this is the second version, they made a lot of money on the first one and I was thinking, right, well, boom, they've got to be able to, to boost that slightly, haven't they? I mean, it can't look any worse. And indeed it doesn't look worse, however, it still looks like a game that was bought out in the early 2000s. Um, the fidelity is awful, the, the textures are pretty bad, even bumped up on the PC, even through my, my NVIDIA and boosting my settings in my NVIDIA graphics card uh, to try and give some better like um, ambient occlusion and all that kind of stuff. No, nope, it looks awful. But even worse than the actual graphics in game is probably the, the UI elements. They are unbelievable. I think I played games on the PC in the 90s that probably looked better that might be that might be a little bit overestimating but uh, it's it just looks awful and the the kind of just the the way the the overall HUD and the UI looks is, is terrible it's not easy to use it's not it's just it's awful I hate it it was shit 
Uh, third thing is going to be the gameplay, obviously. Um, this game is, is critically acclaimed as insanely awesome. Uh, everyone seems to love it, all my friends love it. Um, you know, they grind it for hours, they tell me about, like, they've got all these souls and they've bought this and they've been killing bosses and, ah, oh, like, you know, they're, like, hardcore addicted to it. And uh, this is obviously just a, a first 20 minute kind of look at the game. I didn't really play much more than that, mainly because I didn't want to. But I was only very early into the game and the combat, very, very slow. You know, they've obviously got a quite an intricate kind of, like, stamina system with which made... I imagine would make the boss fight in and the, the combat in general much much more fun later but this it didn't grab me I was two shot in things and even just to kill a standard mob in two hits would take me 15 to 20 seconds it was not quick at all the swing in was slow the, it was kind of clumsy with the mouse it probably would feel better on controller again I didn't enjoy it the, the combat was kind of crap but I would imagine it gets much, much better in the latest game. And the way you have to use your stamina and the way it regenerates. And, and the fact that it's not just used from combat, it's used from, from uh, movement as well. I imagine that it would get much, much more fun. So when I'm playing later, uh, when I'm playing in the future with my controller, I am quite actually looking forward to have fun with the combat. The overall gameplay, however, I thought it was quite good. Uh, the, the way the, the, the systems work... It's all right. Um, I mean, the, the the controlling feels fine. The character moves well. The the general gameplay is there. There's not a problem with it. It's not my cup of tea personally. Like I say, the, the combat seems very slow. But again, this is the first 20 minutes of the game. The huge thing I have a deal with is the fact that it was the first 20 minutes of the game. It's meant to grab you. It's meant to bring you in and say, keep playing me. Now, usually the beginning of the game is very good and the end of the game is, is where it falls off. Um, I've been told this is completely the other way around. The beginning of the game is very slow. You're not exactly sure what's going on. Even if you played the first one, you can be very confused. You're not sure exactly what you've got to be doing. It's, it's kind of linear in that first very start. You walk down some corridors and you, you go for a few doors and then you kind of you come to this open area with some buildings and from there you can kind of branch out and explore and that's kind of cool I like that there's a, a small kind of like tutorial section which is quite linear and then it branches out very quickly which is fantastic I really do like that but there was no real story you had this cinematic at the beginning which was fantastic unbelievable it was beautiful it was gripping and then they just drop you in the middle of some field and you walk to a house and some old girl laughs at you, tells you you're shit basically and you're going to die a lot, which is, you know, I, I mean, I get that. That's what the game's about. But uh, it was kind of like, well, you're being a bit of a cunt, not really interested in what you got to say. So I, I, I ended up skipping like the last half of the conversation, which probably didn't help, but it was it was so boring. Um, went through, killed some stuff eventually, fell down a lot because... Um, <laughs> Like, uh, again, this is when I had to run and jump and things, or even when I was just practicing jumping. I would, like, fall over a hill and die, and I was like, for fuck's sake, this is ridiculous. But overall, I am looking forward to playing the game again when I've got a controller. I, I imagine that all these little things that add up to one big thing are probably going to fall away. There's probably still going to be things that I don't like. Uh, like, for example, the graphics. I've got a pretty beastie machine. I like my games to look pretty. And, you know, stuff like that. The UI is going to annoy me, the, the, the combat, the start is going to annoy me. But I heard that you run into some boss fights pretty quick. And the slow combat becomes a bigger deal. Because the fact that the combat isn't slash, 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 bang, bang, bang. Is actually a quintessential part of the game. Where you, you, you're not fighting very, very quickly. But you have to have a very controlled tactical feel to your combat. And you have to do this to take the bosses down. I'm not looking forward to being frustrated, I like to get things done, not to do things over and over, so uh, I don't know if I'll be playing the game all the way through, but I'll definitely give it another go. So there you are guys, that's my opinion on Dark Souls 2. I felt the game had really good fundamentals, but was let down by poor port to PC. I will be porting this pick again, but not until I have a control pad so I can enjoy my Dark Souls 2 experience. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.